This one is called on GPC and PHA. After 20 weeks of very intense strength work in RevFit, it's time to change things up a bit. And you know, it's really the perfect time to do it because our sister gym, RevFit Glasnev and the Ladies Transformation Center will be kicking off into a very similar program at the same time. So what is the program? Uh, you don't need to worry about that yet because we need to talk about the background of it first. So you see, you can't get stronger or fitter for 12 months out of the year. Your body will just burn out and stop. So what you have to do to ensure long-term success is cycle your training and the stimulus that it provides. So for example, periods of accumulation followed by periods of intensification, and if you're peaking for an event, uh, then realization and restoration afterwards, or recuperation, whatever way you want to talk about it. But essentially all that means is that some months you have a lot of work with medium weights, some months you have a lot of work with very heavy weights. So remember, when we're at RevFood, what we're talking about is movement and strength being the master quality when it comes to looking good as a guy or a girl. With that then, you can probably understand why we're heading into a period of accumulation. The next block of training that everyone's going to go through has been inspired by a number of sources. Uh, Ramby, Steinhaus, Gaja, uh, and Charles Poliquin. So it's commonly referred to as PHA training, which is peripheral heart action or peripheral heart flow, or German body comp, GPC training. And essentially the goal of it is this. We're trying to help girls slim down and look toned and athletic, and help guys look jacked in a t-shirt. So like I said in a previous blog on why chasing numbers is bad, you always got to remember why you're training. And for most people, that's to look, feel, and perform better. So the training system is the tool to get you there. And while I believe that, you know, everybody needs to get to at least double their starting strength levels to really look good, be happy, and perform better, you can't get strong all year round. So for periods of time, we concentrate on body composition instead. Uh, and that's taking all the hard work you've done uh, in getting stronger and realizing those results with a period of leaning out or getting toned. So what's PHA and GBC all about? The guts of this style of programming is basically alternating upper and lower body exercises. So for example, a superset might look something like this. Split squat, four sets of eight reps. Superset it with a barbell row for four sets of eight reps. 60 second break, repeat four times. Uh, every one of those sets then is almost to your limit, but not quite. Um, so what you have there is, a pair, is one part of your body, so your legs, resting, while the other part of your body, the upper half, works. And that's important for a couple of reasons. So it causes a massive increase in blood flow around the body. It increases your heart rate fast, really fast, and it avoids any localized fatigue, so that burning, isolated feeling in the muscle. What that means for you is that you get twice the amount of work you'd normally get done on a session completed, so your workload is now effectively doubled with no extra time spent in the gym. And because everything is so elevated, you'll continue to burn more calories in the 24 to 72 hour period after you leave the gym too. And again, that time scale depends on what literature you read. So in addition to that, because everything is recovering all the time, blood lactate levels shoot up which leads to an increase in growth hormone levels, and the result of that is fat burning increases even more. So there kind of is a paradox at play here. It sounds all a bit too good to be true. How can a single training program be so amazing and why don't you know about it already? There is one problem with it. It's brutally difficult, or at least it's as difficult as you make it on yourself. Because your full body is being pushed to the limit each session, you'll probably want to quit and take long breaks or lessen the reps or mess up the tempos, but you can't do that. You owe it to yourself to get into it in a major way and charge headlong at it. You're only going to experience each workout six times. Uh, that's three different workouts per week. It's 18 hours of total effort. That's less when you include the warm-up and mobility work. It comes down to like 12 to 14 hours. When we start to add in tempo prescriptions and time rest periods, you'll want to stretch things out a bit, but you can't, okay? You owe it to yourself to dig in. Do the work, reap the rewards. One or two training phases like this in a year can literally change your life. Every time you get lean or get back in shape, it gets easier to get there next time. I can think of a few guys and girls in ORFDC, including myself, that spend a lot of the year getting stronger, they gain a bit of fat, and then do something like this, they get leaner, and they get leaner, and then they drop it, and they repeat, and they keep doing it. Uh, the up-down cycle is the only, specifically this up-and-down cycle is the only good kind, in my opinion, because the lows, i.e. your body fat levels, um, continue to get lower and lower each time you do it, and the highs, again, your body fat level, they continue to get lower and lower each time you do it. So eventually it gets to the stage where you're walking around in awesome shape all year round without ever thinking about it, or you're only ever two or three weeks away from being beach ready. Sarah absolutely hates me for that, by the way. We have a running joke that I can diet for two weeks and look, you know, look like most people would look after six or seven weeks. But it's because I stay in shape or close to it year round, I know I can do it. And because I've done it before, it makes it easier the next time. So the last thing then is food. Obviously what you eat um, and how you time your nutrient intake is a big part of it. So all of my guys and girls in RevFit um, have or will have customized carb cycling plans to really support them in doing it. The plans effectively allow for two cheat meals a week, 
uh, once you're not a complete pig about it, of course. So you still drop body fat faster than you imagine possible, and you still get to have a social life. I'm not going to go into carb cycling again because if you want to know more, there's a blog post about it. If you're a refit glass never or a refit and um, from Contra member, we can obviously dig into it a bit more because you guys are paying me and I want to help you out. Um, our next training cycle kicks off on August 25th. If you're a guy or a girl who wants to get in better shape than they ever imagined possible in just six weeks, while still being able to go out with friends, have a social life, and enjoy themselves, fill in the application form below this now. If you're reading this on the blog or if you're on Facebook, shoot me a personal mail. Okay, talk soon, guys.